All right, folks, I am recording the demo for the newly christened Maya 5 assignment regarding our little Lego dude. So, uh, or, uh, you know, non-copyrighted uh, uh, brick-based uh, uh, character, let's say. Um, so, first things first, when you open this up, I screwed up one of the things that I set up for you folks when I was trying to fix something earlier. Over on the right side, you're going to see this thing that says Layer 1 in the layer stack. There's an empty box over here. You need to double click that so that it should say VPR, basically, VPR. So the, the blank one should become an R. So if you tap it once, it'll go to T for template and then R for reference. That way you can't accidentally move the background or the floor um, because I lined up the, the, the uh, character for you so that you don't need to worry about things aligning. The pictures are in there and aligned. So again, make sure that you set those to reference so that way you can't accidentally move uh, the reference photos. So now that we got this, this fellow open, um, and again, just one thing to point out, when you download this zip file and then you extract the zip folder, it's got the Maya file in here with all the textures. They need to stay living together. Do not move the, try not to move the Maya file around. So keep it in this folder with them. Um, so if you need to move things, move the whole folder. Okay. All right, so let's get started. So very sim simple construction, right? Simplistic uh, brick-based uh, character. So we're gonna start with the legs and then we'll, the, we'll make the torso and the head and stuff. The arm was uh, surprisingly difficult, but um, I guess difficult by the standards of using the tools that you folks are familiar with. Um, so that'll be interesting. So let's start with the legs. Legs are, are pretty straightforward. So we're gonna start with the cylinder and I'm looking at the hips here, right? Cause it starts with that rounded cylinder part. So I'm just gonna spin this onto the side. Also, folks, if you could let me know if my uh, screen freezes, because it's been doing that recently. So let me know if at any point I'm just rambling and the screen's not updating. So let's get this moved down here to line up with the hips. And let me scale this up to be a little wider. And let's get this. That looks good. I don't have to worry about this going up into the pants. Um, or the top of the pants because uh, it's supposed to rotate in there, but it, it, it's not a big deal. We don't need to worry about the top of this sticking up. So the one thing we are looking at is the alignment of the back. And so what we want now is we have this lined up and then before we start extruding things, because I want to extrude this down to make the leg, I am going to zoom in a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is as a note, I am single clicking. I'm not clicking and dragging here because I just want the vertice that is closest to me. And I'm selecting all of these all the way around and I'm going to merge them to center. And the reason why I made sure to specify that is because now I can see the other side as well. And I'll do the same thing. And then now I will merge to center again. Cool, now I can grab both of these and I'll just push this back here and try and make it straight. Uh, that looks good, okay, cool. And then, cool, right on. And then before I go too far, because I made this mistake last period, so let me make sure I get the width of this right. Um, I did notice uh, last period when I was doing my, my initial demo, uh, I did not think about this when I was practicing this myself before assigning it to you guys. Um, his legs slightly slant. Um, I'm not worried about you guys including that just for sake of saying. It's not hard to add, but I'm just, because someone asked me about it last period, I didn't even notice. So, oops. Um, but anyway, so that lines up, cool. Come back here, go into face mode, and whoops, perspective view, make it easy. You get this face on the bottom, cool. And extrude, down to here, and then I'll extrude down to here. Go back to my perspective view for a second. Grab this face that's on the front now. Extrude. Boom. Leg. Easy as that. 
So, um, you know, I can flip it symmetrically, um, but I'm just going to be cheaty about it and just do a classic duplicate and just push it over. Just eyeball it. So, it's not going to be flawless on this one. You folks are welcome to eyeball things. Um, I noticed earlier the, the the picture, I'll have to check this for next next year, the picture is not quite aligned with the axis of symmetry that they show on here, which is funny, but whatever. Um, okay, so we got that part. Now we need to make the little flat part that, that connects the legs. So, and then it has this little rounded part that goes in between the legs that they like pivot along. So I'm gonna start with the little flat part on top. So I'm just gonna take a cube and I don't know, make it long and wide, a little flatter. Okay, and let's go into my front view now. Hey, I didn't do that bad. I was just guessing. So I'll make this oh, a little too wide. And then I guess I gotta move this over. Okay, that looks good. Cool, and then so I'm gonna show you folks a, a trick with insert edge loop where you can create evenly spaced loops fairly easily. So I'm just gonna use the traditional multiple edge loops option with two, and I'm just gonna let it naturally split this object, and so I'll put those two edge loops there and there, evenly spaced. And then the scale tool is what I'm gonna use because I can scale the edges towards and away each other and they will stay perfectly proportionally even with one another where they at spaced apart from from the edges so I can scale these in until they're just ever so slightly inset from the legs there and because this isn't perfect I can also just manually move them a little bit okay eh. yeah it's fine it's fine do that a little bit okay cool and then that gives me this face down here oh you know hold on hold on almost forgot to check this width okay there we go um, let me grab these vertices back here and we'll move them forward all right cool so anyway, back to what I was doing a second ago. So now I'm gonna grab this face here and we wanna extrude it down. And so looking at the front view, I wanna pull it all the way down to here. Now, it's just going to be a big flat, uh, big flat part uh, without any subdivisions. So. For eagle-eyed viewers at home, you can use the divisions here if you're so inclined. But um, I would just say, once we got that, you can just add multiple edge loops. Uh, I think I did eight last period. That seemed fine, so I'll do eight. And I'm just gonna split this eight, time, eight times uh, horizontally. And now I'm gonna go into my side view. And what I'm gonna do is first I'll go into vertex mode. Then I'm gonna toggle on my sick new X-ray mode so we can see through this object. And for starters, I think I wanna start by taking both of these and scaling them all the way in. And then I'm gonna lift them way the hell up here. Yeah, we'll do that, okay. So then I'm grabbing these. I'll scale the, whoopsie, scale these in. I'll grab these and okay, scale those in and then scale these in and then like that. And then with these ones down here, it's easier just to move them manually because they're not going to be the same. Whoopsie. Grab these both, move them back. Grab this, move it back, grab this, move it back here, and then grab these and move them, move them all forward. Oopsie. And there you go. Boom. 
So now we got our pants. All done. So now, this shirt, you don't need to worry about the shirt having its like nice rounded corners. I'm gonna deal with that for the head, but for this one, I don't really matter. It doesn't matter that much. So you can just classic, um, here I'll do it in my side view first. So we'll make them long. And then let me grab these verts and move them down. And then object mode again, scale these out. Okay, a little more. Cool. Front view. Scale them out. And then I just grab these verts at the bottom, scale them out. Again, it's not going to be perfect, I guess. So the axis is slightly off, but there you go. Boom. Cool. Simple box. Bing, bang, boom. So real quick, I'm going to pause. Continuing. So we got our, our torso done. Let's plop the head on, and then we'll build the arms. So for the head, you may think this is crazy, but I am going to use a sphere. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So I brought this sphere up. I'm gonna scale it out to the maximum width of this guy's head. Okay, cool. And so what I'm gonna use the spherical parts for is the, the rounded part of the dude's head. So let me throw on the x-ray here. So like what I'm gonna do is grab the vertices for everything that is above the middlemost edge on this. So all of these vertices up here, I'm going to put the pivot point for those. And I'm just going to hold, I'm holding D and V and pushing down on the arrow to just change the alignment of the pivot point. So it's like inside in the middle of these. And then I'm gonna scale this down significantly and flatten out that roundness and then lift it back up to be at the top. And then even then that looks a little too much, so let's do that. And there we go, right? So same token on the bottom. We'll grab these. I wanna put the pivot point in the top or the middle of the topmost vertice, scale them towards that point. Then when they're all flattened out, move that back down. And then if it bothers you like it bothers me, you can put this back in the middle. Yeah, cool. Boom. Okay, so now I can easily select by selecting one face, shift double clicking the face next to it, I get this whole ring. Then I can grow my selection by holding shift and then tapping the period key one time to grow my selection. That's gonna get all three of those rings. And then I'm going to extrude it. Now one thing you'll notice that when I extrude though is that if I pull these out, See how it's ever so slightly tapering them out? So instead, when I do this extrude, instead of using the regular extrude manipulator, go to the regular move tool and we'll lift up. And let me go into my front view again, make sure everything's all good. The other aspect being that this is flat. So you can flatten things out using the scale tool. So I'm gonna push down on the plunger and that will flatten out those faces. And so now I got this. We'll fix this part in a second. So same concept on the bottom. So I'm gonna use my isolate select, boom. So I can get underneath this easily, do the same thing. So click, shift, double click, 
then shift and period to grow my selection. Turn off my isolate select now. Extrude. And honestly, you can just push this all the way down into the dude's body. Um, oh, whoops, broke my own rules already. We're using the regular extrude or the regular move tool. And I will flatten these just for sake of continuity. Okay, so with both of these though, you will notice that the normals got damaged and doesn't know that these should also be soft. Um, so we'll just select these edges, mesh display, soft, and make sure I didn't get any extras. And mesh display soft. Boom. Hey. So now the hard part. So making the arm. So I'm going to start with this cylinder. Okay. And before I start working on it, let me uh, let me dive into the side view here so we can talk about this. So basically, we're going to have it start here. I'm going to get the top of the the original cylinder to like basically cut across here so I'm gonna have to bend it a little bit then I'll have it extrude up and then we'll have it connect to the armpit so it'll be like an extrude and then two or three more extrudes over here to get to get this shape so let's start by placing the cylinder in this position so the cylinder is gonna be this part of the arm so let's go ahead and take this cylinder. And the other thing that I want to point out for how I'm making this is I'm going to actually reduce the amount of subdivisions that I have on this to make it easier to work with for me. So I'm going to lower this down to 12 subdivisions um, just because I think it'll be it's easier for me to work with. Um, so let us uh, move this up to here. We'll scale this down from the center to keep it in proportion. And we'll tilt this. Boom, boom. Okay, cool. Whoops, grab these vertices, right? So step one. Rotate, scale tool, scale from the center. Okay, so there's part one, and then, oh, heh. All right. Cool. Now I'm going to grab the faces that are on the top portion. So click and drag like so. Use control for deselect. Deselect there. So now we'll extrude. And so with this one, oh, before I did, ah, uh, now I see what I did. I screwed up. Okay. It's okay. We'll fix them both here. So I'll start by scaling this down and moving this over. For this one, I need to constrict it slightly and then move it over. Right, boom, boom, back to face mode. So far, so good, except with this one. Right, boom, cool. And then let's extrude again. And then let's go over here. Oh, derp. Okay. Let's undo. Before I start extruding extra stuff, let me fix the scale on this bad boy. This direction. There we go. Now let's do this regular move tool, scale, and then so what I'm about to do 
I'm going to tilt this more flat like this. And then now what we're going to do, now that I have this edge, I'm going to extrude this. I'm going to pull these, these faces up just so that I can see them. Then I'm going to go to the regular move tool so I can see the pivot point for these faces. I'm going to put that pivot point on this inside corner here because I want to pivot these around that point. Make this nice and flat. And then now I'll move this down. And let's look at that. And we'll squish this a little bit. OK, cool. So. So now one of the things that we can do is add, now that we have this shape, we can add an extra edge loop in here. Whoopsie, this is why you reset your tools. So we can add an extra edge loop in here that we can use in our front view to fix this overall shape, right? So I'm gonna double click this loop and I'm gonna scale it vertically a little bit and then move it up and out and we'll rotate this a little bit scale this a little bit yep okay cool boom so with all that being done it's still gonna look a little blocky, right? So what you can do is, I, I think it's easier to just soften the whole thing. Then you can go ahead and just grab this edge that's on the outside here for the bottom. And then just, that's the one hard edge that needs to remain hard. So you can harden that edge. And then now the arm should look nice and smooth. And then that there, so. Now we'll make the hand. So let's go to our front view again. So making the hand, we can use a simple pipe. And I will lift that up and bring it over here. Flip it 90 degrees. And so now, first I'll line it up. good a little bigger and then we need to adjust the thickness of this to move the inside edge that looks good okay hmm Okay, so believe how it went last period was we deleted all of this, all of this, all of this, and that. And then I grabbed these vertices and pushed them into position. Okay, cool. So we will learn next week the tool that easily does what we're trying to do here, but we do have some exposed holes here. So the tool that we can use in the future is called a pen to polygon, but like the answer, the pioneers of old, we have the technology. We can make it a pen by very simply 
You just grab one of the edges on the, the open area, extrude it, just pull it out. Then you take the two vertices that aren't connected and snap them to where they should cover. Then just select your verts and merge. And then same thing over here. So I'll grab this edge, extrude, pull them forward. Vertex number one, vertex number two, boom, select them, merge. Okay. And then all I need to do is for these new faces that I created, make sure I go back and harden them. Okay. So we got that. Side view. Oh. Hand should be a little wider, I guess. Cool. Uh, a little wider. Okay. And then final thing we need to add is the wrist. And the wrist is just a simple cylinder. So we'll lift that up. Scale it down. That looks about right. And then front view okay okay all right I'll lengthen this out And then the other, whoops, the other thing to, to note is that they do actually taper. So I'm going to go grab the vertices for, whoops, eh. these, scale them down very slightly, and then move them over. And then these ones, I just need to adjust ever so slightly, it looks like, boom. And there you have it, boom. So now I can do that symmetrical flip thing. I'll need to adjust them a little bit that we did with the wagon though. So I'll grab these three pieces. I'm gonna duplicate them and then immediately group them, Command G. And then what I'm seeing here is the move tool is telling me that the world's X is running this direction. And if this is currently at the positive one value, then the scale X for the inverse is negative one. And then because it's slightly uh, it's slightly off <coughs> the axis, just move it over a little bit. And there you have it, a Lego dude. And then, so the key will be one, coloring it, and then two, giving, giving this fellow some cool accessories. So another opportunity for, for you to show your creativity. So this is where you need to get to for the baseline. And then I would love for you to add some color um, and accessories to this for our competition. So, but otherwise, please get to this, this, uh, this spot. So um, final thing. So let's see. So like I said, let's let's color some of this stuff. So I will take his body parts, assign a blend, and go, whoops, like that yellow. And then we'll grab his pants pieces. And I don't know, probably navy blue, sure. And then this. I'll make white. These I will make red. And then the other thing is, is that you can actually add the face on there pretty easily, but you just have to add other objects to represent it. I think is really just the easiest way because we can't texture it on. Huh. Um, so 
Let me just scale these down. Open this up. That's almost certainly inside of his head. Just let me go in the side view. Yep. And then I will assign another blend. This one will be black. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Is it alright if I like go in my channel and work on the Oh like, sure. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, I just added the eyes and duplicate and then um, for this one, what did I do? I did a torus, I think. Yeah. So let me pull this torus up, do the same thing basically. So ninety degrees. Let me assign before I forget that blend. Okay. So I want to make it skinny. Whoops. All right. Let me bring this down. And then just to make it nice, I'm going to add a bunch more subdivisions so it looks nice and smooth. And then. Whoops. Uh, whoops. Bring this out here. So let's put this in face mode, and then I don't need any of these. I don't think I need these or these. No, I do need that. Okay. So I don't need these, and I don't need these. Okay, cool. Lego dude, ta-da. So that is it for the demo. Thank you for watching.